Good afternoon, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace, through faith, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. <sighs> Period. Lots of news, including another explosion not too far from here, where I live. But it's, it's far away, but it's not on me. So um, it is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe. That's the key word, believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which again, <laughs> from the looks of everything that's going on, it's going to happen real soon. And sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, feed you, change you, speak to you, everything. He's your best friend. Period. I got to give you this off of uh, Hal Turner. Um, this speech tomorrow... <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. This speech tomorrow from Russia. Electronic billboards in Moscow preparing for a historic day. No turning back. Electronic billboards in Moscow, Russia are broadcasting war images with the message Moscow is preparing for tomorrow's historic day. It says there will be no turning back. That's what it's saying there. No turning back. And there's a video on here too about it. Uh, hold on a minute. Something just came in. Hold on a minute. It goes on to say, I don't know what this speech is in telling. And I, I said the same, but I have no clue. But last week, the Russian government ordered all, and I had did a video on this, all TV and radio stations in the country to carry Putin's speech to the Federal Assembly tomorrow. They were all told to expect it to be a one-hour speech. Never, ever before in Russia's history has government... Now, someone had wrote me, you know, people are in denial. I mean, people are in such denial. Somebody had wrote me the other day saying, oh, it's just this State of the Union speech. Look at the times that we're in and look at who we're dealing with. This is unlike any other time we've ever been in. And it will never be another one like this in history. And it says, never before in Russia's history, history has a government ordered the carrying of a presidential speech live on every TV and radio station in the country. Because the country has 12 time zones and it's so huge, the government allows TV and radio to cover past speeches as appropriate for each time zone. This isn't going to happen tomorrow, folks. He has ordered everybody at the same time to watch this and to air this. Here's an update. He seems to think that this is it. 
I'm going to link it in the description box and I'll let you read this. He seems to think that this is it. I don't know. It might be. There's a reason Sleepy decided to go to Ukraine today. There's a reason for that. And it goes a lot deeper than what we think. Now, where is it? Hold on a minute. Um, I, 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 I got so much news. I, I don't know where to go now. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute because I just got something. I got something else from Hal Turner. Hold on just a second. Um, and actually, this came out last night. Everything is in place, folks. Everything is in place. Russia on Sunday, now this was yesterday, began a large-scale exercise of its strategic nuclear forces. On the eve, listen now, this was yesterday, on the eve of Biden's visit to Europe. So he was, again, he was supposed to go to Europe and Poland. He did a U-turn and went to Ukraine. The exercises include large-scale maneuvers for strategic nuclear forces. Meanwhile, the White House has told Zelensky to prepare for a major Russian offensive right now. This was late last night. Now, there are no plans. Listen to this. <laughs> there are no plans for Biden to enter Ukraine during his upcoming trip to Poland. John Kirby said, however, Biden will address the citizens of Russia and Putin during his visit to Poland on February 21st, according to John Kirby. So while Putin is addressing the nation, Biden is going to give his speech to the citizens of Russia on February 21st, according to John Kirby. As of today, which was yesterday, Russia has 5,977 nuclear warheads, the most in the world. They also have the most advanced nuclear missile technology in the world. NATO has said if they see activity of Russian nuclear forces, that could possibly be preparation to launch a nuclear attack. NATO will attack Russian nuclear forces with conventional weapons, it was said. Russian President Putin is testing his hypersonic Sarmat missile and officials in remote districts in eastern Russia have been warned to be ready for a test launch between February 15th and February 25th. February 24th is the year, is, makes it a year that this war has been going on. The giant 208-ton hypersonic missile is capable of carrying 15 individual nuclear warheads, including Russia's new hypersonic glide vehicles, which cannot be stopped by any missile defense presently on Earth. So you know what?
Something's about to happen. And that's putting it lightly. That's putting it very mildly. As the story is written at 836, this was last night. Again, this was Sunday night. Before all of this happened today, this is today. As of 8.36 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday night, there are unusual flights circling over Poland. Of RC-135 West uh, Rivet Joint Electronic Surveillance and Boeing E-3B uh, Century Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft accompanied by KC-135T uh, Stratton Tank, Strato Tanker for refueling. It is it's unusual because they very rarely fly at night over Europe. Practically ever. Never. So, his analysis. Hmm. In, in a normal rational world, these nuclear exercises will send a clear message. But, in this world, this message will likely be laughed off by Biden. He doesn't seem to care. And he's got a point here. The man is so demented that he can't even think. And he's running a country. Let's just call it like it is. Please. At this point, he says, I don't think he can halt what's coming. And he won't be able to stop what's coming. Because in partial, by him making the move to Ukraine like he just did, he's instigating it. It's not about occupation, it's about survival for Russia. NATO has made it clear they intend on crushing them and dividing it up into regions and exploit their natural resources. Russia is not going to let that happen under no circumstances. Russia is telling them to back the hell up. Right now, that's what's going on. Russia is telling them to get back. Stand down. Don't do it. it. You know what? At this point, and it's been asked me, what do I think of all this? And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. At this point, World War III is inevitable. When he detoured Europe and Poland, and went to Ukraine without anyone knowing. And the White House is going to give a statement saying, oh, we let the Kremlin know that he was coming. So they already knew he was coming? I doubt it. This is it. And I do believe him. I believe him. Because I do believe in my heart of hearts that this is it. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Because I'd much rather see the rapture than this. Believe me. But, you know, if we go that way, that's fine. Because at least we'll be, we'll be with the Lord. But this is inevitable now. This is going to happen. It's going to happen. Now, let me get to Ohio. Um... So what happened here was Oakwood Village is in a suburb of Cleveland. Uh, it's in Bedford. Uh, a metal factory blew up. And witnesses are saying that um, they heard a big boom shortly after 2 o'clock. Crews from multiple crew, uh, cities. That's the east side of uh, Cleveland. We're on... We're on the far west side of Cleveland, so it's not even near me. Again, that's nowhere near me. Um, witnesses reported hearing, hearing a large boom. Crews from multiple cities were then sent to the two uh, to the block of Alexander Road, where I uh, Shookman and Company, where, which produces copper aloes, is located. The official address of the building is in Bedford. 
uh, flying over the scene, uh, local news helicopter showed a fire and large plume of smoke coming from the building. From the ground, debris can be scattered hundreds of yards away <clears throat> and a large chunk of the building is missing. Some of the nearby cars were caught on fire as well. Following the incident, multiple people were brought to the hospital I used to work at. And hospital officials confirmed Fox uh, 8, it is not known how many patients and their conditions at the moment. This was big. This was real big. There's a plume cloud. Um, the smoke billowing into the air could be seen from miles around this site and it was even caught on weather radar for a while, but it's starting to disperse into, into the atmosphere. No further information has been given. Um, it was a metal plant, so I don't know how toxic or what that's, that is, if, if any. Um, I don't know, but it's not near me. So, yeah, that's... Matter of fact, from here to there, it would take me about an hour to get there. So, but I will be back later if anything else comes up. Thank you.